um, you're from the most famous family of Democrats this country's ever seen. And you said before that it was painful for you to leave the party that has so much of family history in it. In an interview for Forbes in September, you were still a Democrat. So can you talk about as an independent now, how you're carving out a different path that's different from Republicans and different from Democrats? Yeah, I was, um, I was actually thinking about this this morning, but the, um, you know, the, the, I grew up in a Democratic Party that had, it was very clear about its values. It was rooted in the American middle class and the promise of America that if you worked hard, if you play by the rules, you can buy a home, you can take a summer vacation, you can raise a family, you could put something aside for your retirement on a single job. Um, the Democratic Party was the champion of constitutional rights, including free speech. The Republican Party, in contrast, was more concerned about security and was more willing to uh, uh, to, to to broach the edge of censorship and surveillance and police powers of the state. Uh, the Democratic Party was anti-war. It was. Um, it was pro-environment and not just climate change, but it was habitat protection and and uh, um, and uh, and ending toxic exposures to children and to and to Americans in general, um, pr protecting our Purple Mountains majesty, our, our rivers, our streams, our landscapes. These were all the values, and and avoiding the the um, this corrupt merger of state and corporate power that from the beginning of our democracy you know our our the framers of the constitution our great visionary leaders were warning against that that uh, the power of corporations that corporate power could actually overwhelm democratic power and our our democratic values uh teddy roosevelt said or frankly teddy roosevelt said that america would never be destroyed by a foreign enemy but that our institutions would be destroyed, subverted from within by malefactors of great wealth. So, and those were kind of democratic values. You know, Roosevelt was a progressive uh, um, and left his party in the end, became an independent. Um, but in 2008, uh, President um, Washington, in his farewell address, warned about partisanship and that the parties would be captured by corporate donors, etc. And in 2008, the Supreme Court passed the Citizens United decision. And that decision released a tsunami of corporate money into the political process. And I would say that I would trace the, you know, the, the kind of terminal corruption of the two party systems to that day. And that case is very, very hard to unravel. The Supreme Court said a hundred years earlier, almost exactly to the date, the um, Congress had passed a rule that made it illegal for corporations to donate to federal political candidates. And that rule was critical in upending our democracy, which was already sinking. And a hundred years later, the Supreme Court said, no, 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 corporations that speed that donations from corporations are actually a form of speech they're therefore uh, protected by the first amendment and congress can't legislate against, legislate against them so congress can't pass any meaningful campaign finance reform we're the only country in the world that does that and unfortunately both parties have now been captured by the corporate machine. Both parties are funded by BlackRock, State Street, and Vanguard. Uh, the pharmaceutical companies, by the military industrial complex, by the oil and coal companies. And they, uh, our pol political leaders, are responding to their, their check writing capacity rather than the needs and the demands of the American people. And the parties really are not that different from one another. They're different on, on the culture war issues, which are issues that are used to, you know, to manufacture the pretense that there are, there's a choice between the two parties. 
Uh, the big issues, the issues like the budget deficit, the war, both parties are now the war parties, both parties are the spending parties, both parties are the, are the, uh, are the parties that are presided over this dramatic uh, rise in chronic disease. Um, both parties are, uh, are, are, have forgotten about the American middle class and are responding more to their corporate patrons than to, uh, to everyday Americans. And so I, I have found it that leaving that party was necessary for me to speak um, with a voice that represented the, the, the issues, the demands, the, the values, and the people that I want to represent.